A Central Arkansas mom claims a state law is preventing her from getting the help that she needs after she was severely injured in a car crash caused by a police officer. Working for you, Susan L. Corey explains how the family is fighting to take the state to court and change immunity laws set up to protect the state and its employees. I listened to those nurses and those doctors that came in that said, we don't know. We don't know if she's going to live. Each step is a challenge that Matt Cross and his wife Heather don't take for granted. I'm trying to deal with getting better. She's come a long way in two years. In September 2019, Heather was waiting to turn into her then five year old son's elementary school when a Shannon Hills police officer crashed into her car, pushing it into a tree. My wife was crushed in a car by herself, a broken hip, dissected carotid arteries. According to a state police investigator, Officer Jose Padilla was responding as backup to a call when he crossed into Heather's Lane and hit her head on. It changes her life forever. We sat down with the family a year ago. We live off of social security disability. We go up and have to file for food stamps to make sure that my family is fed. Since then, they say not much changed. Heather's hair salon still sits in storage. Matt quit his job to be her full-time caregiver. One, two, three, up. Unable to afford the long-term care they say Heather needs. And medical bills are well over a million dollars. Thousands and thousands of dollars. All while the only help the family got was from the city's limited liability car insurance, which maxed out at $25,000. I couldn't even get them to pay the ambulance bill. Nothing's also changed with the case. State police found Officer Padilla at fault. The Saline County prosecutor decided not to file charges, something the prosecutor and police department won't talk to us about. There's no doubt that that badge is what has kept that officer from being held accountable for his actions. The crosses keep pointing to Arkansas sovereign immunity law, which says the state can't be sued in its own courts. It dates back to colonial times, set up to protect England and the king. Most states changed that, but Arkansas remains one of three with the strictest immunity laws. It needs to be fixed. Senator Alan Clark is behind a push to change that. We need to be able to sue the state. Earlier this year, he filed a bill which failed to make it out of committee. How do you write it to make sure that you take care of that, but then you don't take care of every other little thing that, that you just have people going to court every day suing the state? But he says one thing is clear. What happened to the crosses needs a closer look. And it doesn't sound like justice. It doesn't sound like what would happen if for instance, it, I was the one that hit them. So it doesn't sound like what should happen if the state of Arkansas does it. It's him. Back in Shannon Hills. The independence is gone. Heather will need lifelong help. That seven-year-old is the reason why I'm still here. That's my purpose. The family left questioning how the police officer who caused the crash is now being protected by the state. Bad things just happen to good people. Oh, what if it's you? Senator Clark tells me he plans to reintroduce a bill dealing with sovereign immunity. But he's also calling on other lawmakers to step in, saying this should fall in one of the top three issues to be tackled in the next legislative session. Back to you.